Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Galini here and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, I got a message the other day from my buddy Johnny from uh, Nova Scotia and he goes, Hey Doc, your buddy Johnny Waters from Nova Scotia, Canada. My question is, how much water should I drink when taking creocalin, the only stable creatine? Um, he's been asked by several people in the gym because, again, you know, uh, years ago when creatine came out, they said you had to drink an excess amount of water. And really, this is because of the creatinine to flush that toxic byproduct out of your body. So the benefits of creocalin, because it's stable, you don't need to drink um, extra water, so to say. You know, my recommendation has always been eight times eight, you know, eight ounces times eight times a day. Obviously, a lot of people go, oh, you know, that's, that's too much or I drink more. You got to find out what you need to drink, but you got to stay hydrated. But uh, Johnny, you don't need to drink any extra water when taking creocalin. Um, if you're using old school creatine, <laughs> yeah, you better flush your kidneys out when using that stuff. But with creocalin, you don't need to take any extra water. So just hydrate like normal and you will be fine. All right, my buddy, I'm glad to, to hear from you. Uh, Canada loves creocalin. You can find it everywhere. Um, go check out Popeyes and all of their stores. Um, got some special sizes of uh, Crowclin and such in there, and they'll take good care of you. Tell them Dr. Jeff sent you. All right, everybody, take care. God bless.